you can't overstress the importance of this machine. It's the only machine in the plant that can make uh, full body sides. So when it isn't running, basically the plant's not running. The investment in a replacement press is a major step forward because the old press is 27 years old. It's come at the end of its life. Well, with any new investment, it's a massive buzz for the shop uh, from a production point of view. Uh, it's a facility that we've wanted for a number of years now. It uh, supports all aspects of the business, both supporting the press shop, supplying panels to body shop, but also a motivation for the individuals who actually operate in the machine. Very simply speaking, the XL line is, is one large machine, but it can be broken down into four smaller individual presses. So this, this is split 2,400, 1,000, 1,000 and 800. And each of these presses, on the top you'll see what's called a crown. And this crown is like a large gearbox, which is driven from four individual servo motors. And this uh, system of servo, servo motors and gearbox helps to move the, one part of the press up and down, which is attached to the die, which moves the die up and down, which then helps to then form the panels. It's the first servo-driven press in the whole of the Nissan Group. So we're quite privileged in MUK to, to have such uh, modern technology and the whole of the Nissan group is looking at us to see how it performs. On a project of this size from uh, start to finish it's about a two and a half year project. So from the very start once we placed the order we had to set up a cross-functional team this was built up from relevant functions within the engineering department. Being able to rely on a number of very very capable groups I think it shows the strength of the engineering teams that we've got around us. So from facility, from construction, from die, uh, we, 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 we pull together very, very strong to deliver the project on time. Creating a large excavation adjacent to an operational press shop had the makings for some problems. Thankfully, through very, very, very good housekeeping measures taken by our main contractor, McAlpine, there were never any dirt ingress issues, and there was never any issues or stoppages with current production. McAlpine actually constructed the first press shop back in 1986 and have actually been involved with the construction of all subsequent press shops. This gave a massive, massive benefit to this project whereby everybody understood the technical problems that may be encountered and actually all of this helped to achieve a massively successful project achieving all of our quality cost and delivery targets. We have four major KPIs which are linked directly to quality and the new technology on the new Excel line here will give us benefits towards improving our quality, especially from a formability point of view because we've got the capability to control the speed of the press in the, in the draw stage which we don't have on the current facilities. Looking at this new press, it's a fantastic piece of equipment. It's got new technology on it. Um, the transfer mechanisms are all servo drive which gives the people in the press shop more opportunities to improve quality and also diagnose when we're running. It's much more visible inside the press and it allows the guys to see what's going on and, and countermeasuring concerns very quickly. When we look at the current 5,000 tonne in its day, it was streets ahead of everyone else. But the new facility now with the new technology, it's very, very exciting for the lads uh, They're learning new equipment, learning new technology. Obviously it's a new facility, it's bright, it's airy, it's easy to maintain and the future is excellent for the lads. The fact that it's, it's um, all robotised inside, um, unbelievable piece of kit and I'm really impressed at the quality of the installation and the, you know, although nothing's ever trouble free when you're commissioning a piece of equipment as big and as complex as this, it's gone much better than my expectation. It's great to see him. I was here in the press shop when the first panels came off the 2700 many, many years ago. And to see it off a new facility, especially a facility as good as that, it's excellent to see. It makes you feel really proud seeing the panels coming off the, the, the end of the production line at, at, at this stage now. So this project's been on the go for almost two and a half years now. And what we're seeing is the, the result of two and a half years worth of hard work from production, engineering, construction, maintenance, dye maintenance, all coming together all to achieve one common goal. And seeing that all culminate and seeing a panel come off the end of the line was a fantastic moment. Uh, briefly remember all of the different work that I went into it along the way. The last time you put a new press in was about 25 years ago. Uh, so for the team it's the first time. They've done a fantastic job and I've really got to take my hat off as well to come out They've been fantastic in the support for us and obviously McAlpine's huge building contract. Um, and just look around at it and you know, it's a fantastic piece of work.